it is still June the 2nd. Um, what am I going to talk about in this video? So, um, I recently, I don't know why I post so much on Facebook. Like, I really feel like I should really get on Instagram more. Because when it comes to Facebook, nobody's really going to see your post like that unless they're your friend or unless somebody shares it or unless you make it public but even with public posts they have to kind of be searching for you to see it or it has to be shared for them to see it so when you post on facebook only your friends see it but when you post on instagram and you use hashtags or instagram can tell it's related to something if you're in like the little search tool or you know basically where everything goes that's interesting you could be like under the recommended yeah, under the recommended thing of somebody else's video and then from there they get, they get your videos they get your page they do this they do that so i think i'm gonna start getting on instagram and start posting on instagram because i have two instagrams anyway um the one that's public is connected with my facebook page and the one that's private is the one i've had since middle school so you know the one that's private is more personal I know most of the people I follow on my private one and I really don't even post like that on there like the last time I probably posted probably was in February or 8th not really or I might have posted last month I think I posted last month when I had that week but anyway I said this to say I posted a video not a video I'm sorry posted a status on Facebook and I basically said that I'm giving up on hair and I talked to one of my homegirls and she was like Naya like what made you say you giving up on hair like what made you say you don't do hair no more and she was like I read it in your voice so I couldn't do nothing but laugh because I know how you would have said what you type because honestly I don't know what's going on I think it's my sinuses but if you know how I talk, I type the same way. Like, I use correct words. I use correct spelling. Like, everything is going to be grammatically correct. But if you know my tone of voice, then you already know how I'm saying it. Like, you know if I'm being an asshole about what I'm saying. Like, if you know me, you know how I talk. You know how I text. It's the same way. So, she was like, I couldn't do nothing but laugh when I read it. And I was like, I'm really not done with hair. I just know it's not my season and I know I'm trying to rush into something that I'm not ready for and I was one of the people like I got a plug I sat on my plug unlike most people like, everybody who feel like they get a plug they just sell their hair with me it was with integrity like I'm not selling you nothing I haven't worn I'm not selling you nothing I haven't tried myself I'm not telling you I'm, I'm not selling you something I don't know how to maintain so why would I sell you a product and I'm telling you to go to such and such on YouTube because I seen them use it? No, I need to know firsthand how this works. Like if you go with any problems or you have any problems, I need to know how to fix them because I need I need to be the one that you're coming to with your issues if you're buying something from me. I should know my product inside and out. I should know the density. I should know the porosity. Por por I think that's the word. Um, I should know if the cuticle is aligned. I should know the highest temperature the hair can go to before something happens or before you seriously damage it. I should know the origin of the hair. I should know what products do and don't work. If it's, I should know what sulfate-free products you're going to use. I should know what oils you're going to use so it won't be heavy on the hair. I should know what you're going to wash the hair with, condition the hair with, if you're going to air dry it or I can recommend certain products like this is the best flat iron I feel like or this is this this is that I should know things about what I'm using what I'm doing because if you don't know any of that why would I even support you or why would I buy something from you if you can't even tell me what your stuff is if you can't tell me oh well well my vendor name is such and such and the hair comes from here you know, like and if you really into hair, like I'm into hair, there's no such thing as 8, 8, 9, 8, 10, 8, 11, 8, 12, 8. There's no such thing as the grays of hair. Hair is hair. 
the difference between a lot of the hairs is a lot of it is felling hair or it's straight off someone's head or it's some bs they didn't concoct it together and it could take heat like you know what i mean by the felling hair is basically like when they wefted it or they took it through the certain machines it was the hair that wasn't put into it or it's the hair that didn't go on the well so it's, it's basically a ball of hair that they have chemically processed detangled and then they put on the well and suck and they selling it to you and that might be what they would consider the 8a type hair because it was hair that was taken from good hair but now they've chemically processed it like they literally selling you bottles of hair that didn't go into that like it's mad hair it's hair that's put together so they have to take it to through the machine with like certain like it's not thorns and it's not nails but they're high they're high points and you basically just drag the hair through like that and that's how they get the hair together and they get the hair aligned a certain way and they try to make it look like it's something or they try to make it like more than what it is and they'll say they have no problem because they don't care as long as they make their money and then people in the states get that vendor and they just feel like okay well i got a vendor now i can start selling hair and oh well i just got a bad bench of hair i just got this i got that i feel like if you get a vendor you need to actually get your passport and go over there You need to see what you're selling you need to see who you're buying from you need to see how they treat the stuff i mean even though they're gonna make it look cute when you go over there because you're visiting but it's still certain stuff you're gonna see within that warehouse or you know the environment itself so you have to be observant when you go over there but you you should take the time and go over there anyway but ain't nobody doing it like who cares selling hair is a new thing um selling clothes is a new thing like who cares buying vendors is a thing like no one really cares about the quality of the product and quality will get you a whole lot longer or a whole lot further than quantity because quantity means nothing if it's worth nothing it's really worthless like i would rather have something good and i have a scarcity or a minimal amount of it didn't have a lot of something it's, it's worth nothing like you ever heard the saying like we were stronger without you like yeah it was less of us but you add and will make us weaker like people don't understand that concept when it comes to work and when they put their stuff out there in the marketing of themselves because when you're new to something or you're just starting out on something you can hurt yourself before you start just off the strength of well that wasn't good quality so anything you do after that they're gonna question especially if you're one of those people who have like multiple business ventures and i'm not against that because you should always have more than one source of income coming in whether you working at a warehouse and you work 312s and you got another side hustle and you do hair and you and you cook and you do this like whatever you do i'm not i'm not dissing but if you got something every year and you don't stick to something you're not consistent with something you're showing people that you're not dependable or you're showing them that you're gonna ride whatever wave come along because you just cool with getting that little bit of money for that time you're not sticking to what you really know or what you really want to do like i know some people for a fact like they like fashion um i know people who like fashion they like hair they like they like all that so they do it all together but they might they don't do everything at one time and some of them do and if you got a team behind you you can but it just it just don't look good when you got business venture after business venture and each one of them keep failing or you keep renaming stuff or you keep doing this or you keep like you you're not sticking to nothing you're jumping around so how are you gonna have a consistent clientele if they don't know if you're going to be dependable they don't know you're gonna bring the product they don't know your product is of quality or value because you go from here you go from here you go from here you go from here every year is something new like last year you were selling clothes this year you selling hair next year you're gonna be selling car accessories after that you're selling iphone chargers and iphone screens now you fix screens 
Like, now you selling credit. I mean, not, yeah, now you doing the credit repair thing. Now you didn't got your insurance license, so now you doing insurance. Like, there's nothing wrong with having none of these certificates. There's nothing wrong with gaining knowledge in none of this. But a jack of all trades and a master of none I ain't gonna really get you too far. Cause yeah, you skilled a little bit in every area, but you didn't master anything. You didn't fully learn things. So when you're put in a position and you're with someone who's a master or they're put in a God state and they can teach you or they can call you out on your stuff, it it devalue you in front of people. Like if they was to call you out on your stuff in front of people and you a crowd, like you got a crowd of people and people just think you the guru in this. And they just asking you questions and they know you should know the answer to it because they simple question that devalues you because you didn't take the time to actually learn the knowledge of what you're trying to do. You didn't take the time to get the background information or do that research that you should have did if this is what you really want to do. And I realized like that's why I'm not making it. That's why I haven't made it. And that's why I'm not going to continue to put myself out there like that. Like, I still make stuff for me. I still do my siblings' hair. I do my family hair. But it's different when you're talking about the general public or you're talking about doing somebody else's hair or you're talking about doing all that. All of that is different. Just because with your family, like, I'm not going to say it don't matter how you do the hair, but nine times out of ten, you're not really charging them full price or you're not charging them what you were. And you got attitude like they gonna get what they get. But when somebody comes to you and they're a client and they want this, they want these curls, they want it to look like this, they just sent you a picture for inspiration. Like they're expecting that look and they're paying you for that look. And if you paying me, you paying me good money for that look. So I have to bring your vision alive. I have to be able to reproduce what you showed me i have to be able to at least mimic or get it close to it at least to be like okay well it ain't exactly like it but i like it because people don't take into consideration that different face structures different people's weight different looks different features like if you don't look like that person that hairstyle is not gonna look like that on you but with you being a stylist you should know how to change certain stuff you should know what works for certain people you should know what certain people can pull off and what they can't pull off now if you can't talk them out of it then hey it's on them you already didn't told them they ain't gonna look right on them but that what they want they stuck on it get it to them <laughs> but i realized i have a lot more learning to do like i actually went to school for cosmetology and i still feel like that's not enough like it's enough for me to have knowledge as far as the sanitation part um to know what products can and can't be used to know to look for if someone is sick to ask someone about the medication that they're on and see what kind of effects it'll have on the hair to know what products work to know like i have a lot of knowledge when it comes to that but i know it's certain things that i want to specialize in like I'm okay with being a jack of all trades when it comes to certain parts of hair. But I know for a fact I want to specialize in certain stuff. Like, I want to specialize in natural hair. I don't care nothing about this weave. Like, I'm cool if you wear it for protective styles. I'm cool if you wear it year round. I'm cool if you put a wig on every day. Like, I'm cool with it. But I care about the hair that grows. I care about the hair that does or doesn't grow out your scalp. And if it doesn't grow and we can actually do something to reverse it, like if we can do something to reverse your alopecia, your traction alopecia, or we can figure out what medicine is thinning your hair or why it's thinning your hair. If we can figure out what's the problem, then we can figure out a solution for the problem because you know what's wrong. And I want to specialize in that part. Um, I'm into wigs. I do like wigs, but that's not going to be my first love. My first love, like I said, is natural hair. That will always be my first love. Like, when I went natural in 2013, I've been natural since. Like, well, I can't exactly say natural because I have put chemicals in my hair, but it wasn't a perm. It was 
bleach or it was hair color it was stuff like that people still would consider themselves natural but you don't put chemicals in your eyes so you're coloring it like you you've altered the natural state because that's not your natural that's not your natural color or any of that so that's how that was on but i've always been a fan of natural hair i've always loved afros i've always loved locks twists like mini twists i really want to get into making natural products i want people hair to grow back a lot of us we suffer with traction alopecia and we lose our hairline like and people don't realize about these frontals and these closures not helping because your scalp isn't breathing like scalp can't breathe blood ain't really circulating like that so it's just there and once you take stuff off you see areas of your hairline thinning or you see this and you see that but you're still going back to go get a style or your hairline is weak already because it hasn't breathed in a month because you kept that style in maybe a month and a half because you kept that style in so this is weak right here you didn't give your time you, you didn't give your hair time to breathe and now you didn't got some braids or you didn't got some faux locks or you didn't got something that's heavy on your hairline so now you really finna pull it out because it was already weak because it hadn't been breathing it hadn't been receiving the right nutrients you hadn't been oiling it you hadn't been massaging that area nothing was going on it was a frontal that was just stuck on it and it was glued on top of it like it was lace like there was no air getting to your scalp at all then you go get some braids or you get something that's pulling at your hair then you finna pull your hair out I just want people to love their hair. I don't care how much weave you wear. I don't care. It don't make me no never mind. I don't care if you wear weave. For any I don't I don't really care if you do that, but just take care of your hair while you do it. Like I'm not one of the people who gonna tell you don't wear weave because I do it. Even since I've locked my hair or started the process of locking my hair, I have corn rolled these several times and put wigs on. And I know my hairline is messed up right now. That's why I'm doing this challenge I'm doing. But I definitely see the growth. And I definitely see what do and what don't take my hair out. So I do less of certain things. Like, I don't care if I look like a little boy every day. At least right now while I'm in this stage, I really don't care. Because I'm cool with, like, I've literally walked around with fades. I've walked around with no hair at all. So any hair on my head would not make me less of a woman. The way I care myself doesn't make me less of a woman. The way I dress is not going to make me less of a woman. Because at the end of the day, I was born a girl. So, I had no choice but to become a woman because I was born a girl. It doesn't matter if I'm not as feminine as I want to be or how other people want to see me. I'm still going to be a girl. I'm still a woman at the end of the day. So, none of that really matter. <laughs> but, ooh, I hope y'all ain't see that spit. <laughs> <laughs> but this video is already long it was very informative i know and i talked a lot about me and a lot of i, I put out a lot of facts i put a lot of facts out there like this lady right here her hair is thin as hell i want to be able to do something about that like yeah you got rogaine you got the stuff that's in the hair stores but I want to have one-on-one -on -one consultations and i want to get to the root of the problem with you because everyone is different those people are selling you basically a product that is for the masses or basically a, a a general product it's like okay well it's like bread everybody eat bread but some people like butter bread some people like raisin bread some people like this some people like this some people like that it's specialized for you so it's different things for that but i want to make products that are just for you that are based off your genes, based off your history, based off your lifeline, based off your... I want to make products based off that for you. Because not everyone suffers from the same problem. Some things may be close or similar, but it's not the exact same. I want to make products for you. And to do that, I have to gain more knowledge. I have to seek more knowledge. I have to read more. I have to be a student. I have to learn. I have to pay attention. I have to put myself in positions to where I'm 
learning from gurus or learning from someone who has already mastered this and I have to make it my own and that's what your girl gonna do anyway let me go in the stove so I can work and then uh, go home <laughs>